What's up everyone? I just recently installed a Uniden R7 uh, radar detector in my 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn. And when I was looking to do this install, I couldn't necessarily find a video that covered exactly what I was looking for. So I wanted to make this, uh, this quick little representation, quick video, whatever you want to call it, on how I did it and uh, how it's worked out for me. So here we go. So this is the view that I see from my driver's seat. And this is kind of what it looks like from the center of the truck. And then kind of what you see from this side. Now, if you're looking to put a radar detector in your Ram, a little bit of experience for you. Initially, when I bought the radar detector, I also ordered, it wasn't the blend mount, but it was something that was similar to the blend mount, like half the price. I kind of thought the blend mount was a little expensive for what it is, but regardless, I ended up sending that mount back because it just doesn't really work that well with the Ram. Um, when I had it mounted up, I don't know if it's going to show on the camera. Let me spin it around here and see if I can get it. There's just not much of a arm there between the actual mount on the glass and the mirror itself. So it's kind of tricky to mount it that way. And then once you do get it on, the radar detector kind of sits about here. And so for my taste, it was just a little too far down and kind of in plain sight. So I opted to just use the glass mount, the suction cup mount that the detector comes with. And now I have it just under the mirror and it sits back. So it's, it's there, it's plain view, clear sight, but it's also out of the way at the same time. But uh, anyways, let me show you kind of how I did this. If you own the same Ram again, 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn, you can see uh, the dash and whatnot that I have to know that you've got the same truck. <laughs> um, it's real straightforward, real easy. And uh, I, I mean, I had this done in maybe 15 minutes or so. But yeah, let me get this camera mounted up and I'll show you. I'll pull this mirror down real quick and show you just how easy it is. Okay, so nice wide view of what we got going on here. Just kind of roll this mirror down. Now this piece is kind of the hardest piece to get out. It's not necessarily hard. You just got to finagle with it. But you push in, you can get your hands back in there, kind of push in and pull out. And then you'll have to work it until it comes out of there. Of course, be careful with it not to break the plastics because you want this to go back together. See here, there we, there we go. So that's out of there. And from this point, all you literally have to do is kind of grab this mirror by the bulk of it. If you can get your hands around the stalk right here, that's great. You'll spin it counterclockwise and it's, it's kind of tight, but it will come no problem. Flip the mirror, kind of position it to where you need it so it's not hitting everything. And I didn't have the detector on there. Obviously when I did this the first time, the mirror comes right off from there. This cup is right here, and I'm not gonna take it off in this video, but it just sits inside this uh, cast piece of, I guess, aluminum, and you can just separate it right here and it will come off, and then you get to this plug. Now, 2017, again, Ram 1500 Bighorn, there is a pink and yellow wire on that pigtail that is hot when the key is on, and then there's a black wire, which is a true ground. All you have to do is by the pigtail, which I'll link in the description, and you insert the pins into the pin of the plug, and then just zip tie them up. It's that easy. Everything's right here. So you can see when I said I did this the first time in about 15 minutes, maybe it was a little bit longer than that. It's really straightforward, really easy, really clean, and you don't have to fuss with it. Then of course, once the wire's in there, there's enough gap between this edge right here and the windshield that you can just leave it looped over Pull that back, get the mirror positioned on there. Figure out exactly where the alignment point is. Right there, and then you'll spin it back on. Of course, get your other piece of plastic, fish it back over. Fuss with it until you get it just right. 
I believe, if my memory serves me right, there's two alignment pins at the bottom of it that have to go in first. Make sure I've got the other side. I do. And you just push it back in. That is literally all it takes. So if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that I may have left out, leave a comment. And I will do the best I can to answer them. And then if you're looking for the pigtail that I bought, I will leave a link in the description to it on Amazon. But yeah, like I said, if you find this video helpful, give it a, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more DIY type videos from me, you can hit subscribe. Who knows what else I'll get into because I am crazy and all over the place when it comes to Hobbytown. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.